Hello fellow Munster, Sticker Munster here, and today we are going to be playing Gone Home. Um, wow, I fucked that whole thing up. Okay, so I don't know how long this video is going to be. It seems like we're starting to figure out a bunch of stuff, but I don't know the whole thing. So we will find out, I think possibly, maybe, perhaps. Nope. All aboard the nope train. Fuck you. Thank you. Fuck you very much. Okay. Why couldn't I? Open. It just lets you close it. Okay. Mom, citizenship. Grab postcard. Uh, I'm writing to you from... Okay, so that's me. Oh, that, that's Lonnie! I'm here on stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March, and I don't know if anyone running this school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh, wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh, shit. Here... Her you? Oh, here you come. Oh, okay. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. No, I'm, I'm good. The Psycho House Girl, the coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one, everybody in the hall thinks... Thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripherals. That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome, and everybody was moving together like one huge uh, tide of sound. That, that's what that said. Okay. Uh, comic book. I like comic books. Oh, God, I'm not listening to that. Nope. This one's for you, Grossman. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Kicking against the patriarch, pa patriarchy, I think it is. Patriarchy? I don't, I don't know. Dear Mrs. Greenbrier, or Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed initiative and was well written, but it does not change my mind on the matter. While I understand that Mr. Soto is a friend of yours, the fact of the the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same for, to yours is immaterial. As to your compliant that no other student has been punished for their part in the incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might be, have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting the issue drop as it will bring, only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began the whole situation in the first place. What? what? I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Hmm. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend Weird. my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. She doesn't understand herself. Got it. Nailed it. Deep down inside, nobody understands what's going on. Blah, 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 blah. If it's a little hard for you guys to see, by the way, hard for me to see, too. So don't feel so left out. Okay. 
Oh, when are we gonna see some ghosts? Are we ever gonna see any ghosts, or is that not a thing? Hey, Lonnie, sorry my mom has been, uh, my, I'm sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away, and then when she gets home, she takes it out on you, like, because you're not a man, a member of the family. She knows you won't call her out on it, and I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles. Freewheeling is how she spelt it. Um, I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to be, you have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up to the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't rather live in, with your mom in Florida. No. That was a great way to explain it. Uh, due to your exemplary management of the Flintlock prescribed burn operation last year, the services need of experience, experienced personnel to direct the regional operations. We would like to offer you the position of regional conservation. Oh, okay, so she's getting a, a raise. That was footstep. That was disturbing. That scared the fuck out of me. Earth, wind, and fire. No. Do you remember? On the 21st night of September, Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. Oh, okay, that's just a house settling. I love it. Merry Christmas, Miss. Treasure it always. Okay, so that's what that skull was for then. This is a big fucking house. This house makes me really uncomfortable with how big it is. I don't like big houses. In fact, my dream my dream home is just a one-story house with a white picket fence and shit. It's just so dumb, I know. Hi, Jan. I got two tickets for EWF on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So that that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might enjoy. You might be interested in more than more. Fun, then, okay, whatever. She, she wants to go to the thing. Talking shit. Talking hardcore shit. Uh, Samantha distributing inappropriate material on school ground. Phone calls to student parents out of school suspension. What was she distributing? Sam, since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounding for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for any time except going to prom to and except going to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once yeah. your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't happen again. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? Katie, you know how mom oh, and dad are. Oh, fuck! I didn't want to do that! They're not exactly super open-minded about things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. And what would happen if they did? I fucked it up. You know Dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever you brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. Oh, okay, so... I can read them again, but where... Where the fuck? The nunnery. So. I think it was this one. I had an interesting yeah. talk with mom and dad tonight. When you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. 
They saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. That's, and that's the sad thing. A lot of parents actually do do that. And it's, it's honestly my personal preference. If I had a kid and they turned out to be gay or lesbian, I would accept them for who they are. Because... I mean, that's just their lifestyle. My, my, your, a parent's job isn't, hey, you have to date a man or you have to date a woman or blah, blah, blah. A parent's job is to make sure they're prepared for life and prepared to go to college, get their life together and all that stuff. But a lot of parents tend to forget that on the way. But, um, but in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with your, with our favorite flannel clad hunk. What a blast. But you sound like you're, Reading a lot into an innocent night out. You're sure there's something there. You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You're sure they're not serious? Okay, so we have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. I owe... Yeah, so she was shooting. She was definitely shooting. What a fucking day. I mean, if you're lonely and or your spouse isn't treating you the proper way at least talk to them and if they're too ignorant to listen and they're not respecting your wishes or something like that just fucking leave it be just fucking move on go to divorce something i hate when people are like you don't understand you're not married it's like no i understand if someone fucking cheated on me i would not put up with that shit jonathan blair request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter to Mr. Helen Margaret to Mr. Richard Morris. What? He did have a girlfriend. Sam scheduled working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Okay, so she had a job. Oh, milk. You're gonna get spoiled. You're gonna get spoiled. You'll probably be okay. You're gonna get spoiled. You are gonna get all shaken up and then you're gonna explode. And then spoiled, 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 and then spoiled. And nope. We'll leave the fruits in there. The fruits need to be in there. Okay, anyway. Melt. 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 Die. Okay, we'll leave the rest. I'm getting too distracted. Ugh. Well, fuck you too, then. Okay, I'm not seeing anything important right here. What is this? Uh, having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on your new position. Okay, so she, she accepted the position. Good! Good for her, you fucking tooting ass bitch. Fucking slut. Fucking whore. Fucking food. I like food. I'm gonna bring this I'm gonna bring this box of hippos with me. Never mind! Apparently I can't open doors when I'm holding a box of cereal. That's a fucking thing. Okay. Well, that's that and she was sustaining off of pizza. I cannot see shit. No, I can. Knife. What is this? First, let me say that I hope the missive finds you all. Hell, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not, we are the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do you want from you? We look forward to embarking you into... Busting your work, screaming back into the- Okay, so they're like fucking creepers. Okay. Creepy fuck. 
Sam, your mother and I will be away for a very long, for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary, June 3rd to the 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but what the fuck is this? But we'll give you a call on the way home. Sorry the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never trust a, contra a contractor. Forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. P.S. Good. Be good. P.S. Be bad. Here, put that back up there. The one thing that I fixed. Okay, so where have I not explored yet? I'm missing something. There's got to be something that I'm missing. Yeah. What the fuck? Fucking, really? Scaring the fuck out of me, and it's a goddamn fucking cereal box that's restricting me from- I fucking hate this game. Okay, so that was that. Let's go over here. Okay! Uh, I have a- I've had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam, I think you would like to go to your architecture. It is from a strange alien world. I am headed to my final destination Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I am running low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Okay, so... I came home early then. I wasn't supposed to be here yet, anyways. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. Fuck out of me. She's so incredible on stage. When oh, she was man. singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. And I can't live without her. And she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Hmm. Oh, so this is where they're going. A couple's counseling retreat. Summer session, June 3rd, 2 to 7. They are trying to fix their marriage. That's what's going on right now. They're not actually on a honeymoon or, any, or an anniversary thing. I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending sending along copies of the new added, uh, new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said that Unknown Dimensions isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you may find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective without forgetting the excitement and the weirdness that unknown dimension readers expect. Okay. Can I push the button? No. I cannot. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved the president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future. Of danger and excitement. The days he would, where he mattered. So when the, that familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you save this time will be your own. Sounds really fucking stupid. Just saying. We will do it. They're gonna have sex! They're gonna do it. We agreed our last They're totally night together gonna fuck. our happiest ever. And we They're totally gonna fuck. was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized were all in the past and there wouldn't be any more I didn't know what I was going to do and I cried and she held me she said she knew it was nope. hard but life would move on I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her that's when she cried too 
was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. The attic here. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. What about the the safe downstairs in the basement? What a Where's the thing for that? What is this? A spare key that was hidden under all Christmas stuff. Oh, okay. But yeah, what about the key that or the safe that's in the basement? Is there anything? Let's go back there and see if there's anything we can find in there. Cause I want to see what's actually in there. It doesn't make sense to just like have a safe down there and then you can't open it. I sound dumb. Sound dumb and disappointing and dumber than dumb and dumb and dumber and dumb. What is this? All right. So I guess to the attic we go. Oh, 1963. Okay, well then, on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. So, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm enjoying this. I think I've said that at the end of every one of these videos, but I like it. I don't know. I, a lot of people said it has a very disappointing ending, so we'll see what's going to happen with the end. But I haven't had anything jump out on me uh, at me, obviously, from what you guys have seen, so I don't really have much experience expectations for the ending if that makes sense but anyways thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it if you guys like this video finger that like button and remember when there's a shout the monster's out